For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now the Bible gives orders to those that are saved to go ye in all the world and preach the gospel. Because the gospel is not going to be preached a majority of your churches across the land. And the fact is that Paul the Apostle has told us that there is another Jesus, another spirit, another gospel. And the fact is that preaching on the street is of the Bible, Proverbs chapter 1. And the love of God is that he tells those that are saved to preach the gospel about Jesus Christ, the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scripture. The gospel is not how you feel, how good you are. The gospel is not that tingly sensation that your rosy preacher or preacher is gives you a lecture upon. The gospel is about a man that is God and God that is a man that suffered and died in our place. Because God so loved the world that he gave because we cannot do nothing to appease God of our sin. The wages of sin is death. Man is going to die because he's a sinner. And by God's love sending Jesus Christ, you cannot do anything to get into the entrance into heaven because Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And if God would approve of religion, if God would approve of you doing something to go to heaven, then the gospel of Jesus Christ is a waste of time. Because if man could do something, there would be no, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He would not need to give his son. If you are able by your religion, by your money, by whatever you do to get to God, but the fact is that God's love is He sent Jesus Christ, that if we were to believe on Jesus Christ, we would have eternal life, would take your religion and your works and cast them off into a pit of hell that burns forever because your works cannot do anything. That is the reason why there is a man named Jesus Christ. And when you think you're going to approach God, on how good you are, how decent of a person you are, when you're going to approach God on how wonderful, and yet the Bible says there is none that do it good. There is none righteous. So you are not and will not ever, according to the Scriptures, fill that gap between you and God. For God is holy. And God proclaims for you to be holy. And the only means of holy and righteousness is by Jesus Christ. Now let me give you a fair warning. If you think your religion, your education, your political party, your pea brain is able to get you to God. You have some nerve to say you are better than Jesus Christ. When the Bible records that Jesus suffered and died for our sins, the fact that Jesus Christ was treated brutality by the hands of man in the hands of their creator, Jesus. 
the fact that they punch God and whip God and mock God and they with the cat of nine tails ripped open the back of God where the Bible says that his back was like the flower's field of metal blades. That was God in the hands of the creation that he made. Because God said, you can't do it, my son must do it. And Jesus Christ done it. And you think of a few little prayers are going to outmatch the cat of nine tails that went across Jesus' back. You think your priest is so much better than God hanging on that cross, suffering and dying for mankind. You think you can eliminate God by saying, in the beginning, nothing, and here we are with the Big Bang. God in the flesh suffered beyond brutality that any man would ever suffer. How do you know that Jesus Christ is God? Because that man, 33 and a half years old, if he was a man, and just a man, he would have never made it to Calvary alive. The Bible records that his beard was pulled out. The Bible records that he was so marred that his visage, visage was beyond recognition is when you looked at Jesus, you could not tell he was a man. His back with the cat of nine tails was ripped open. And yet, God the man carried himself and that cross to Calvary and then nailed him to that cross. Man can't do that. And Jesus Christ had no painkillers. Jesus Christ had no injections. No steroids. God manifested in the flesh, suffered and died that you might be in the eyes of God holy. And you're going to think that I'm going to excuse God and I'll be better than God, Jesus Christ. You're going to think and you're going to proclaim that what you believe outside the Bible is going to make God happy. That God is just going to welcome you because of what you've done. what Jesus Christ has done. And the one that sacrificed his life, his body, you will stand before and you will name what you believe. And my God, my Savior, will declare to you, depart from me, workers of iniquity, I never knew you. But Lord, I prayed. My dear creation, I suffered. Oh Lord, I went to church. My dear fellow, I died upon that cross. Oh, Jesus, I prayed to this man. Oh, sinner, my God, my God, where, where hast thou forsaken me? Was my prayer. Oh, Jesus, 
You see, we are a product of evolution. Oh, dear evolution is I'm the creator you are standing before. With my fingertips and with my mouth, thus saith the Lord, let there be, and there was. Now depart from me, workers of iniquity, I never knew you. You see, when God loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, by John 3, 16, everything you believe on how to get to heaven is wrong. And with John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him, should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's the Father speaking. And the Son said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. That is the Father and the Son speaking. Saying what you believe is incorrect. It's imaginable to what God Jesus Christ has done for us you see John 3 16 it could have said for God so loved the world do whatever you want but it don't say that it says for God so loved you he gave his son and that Son, Jesus Christ, suffered and died. The three parts of the Gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died, according to the Scriptures. So the means of suffering has to do with salvation. Now you may sit and suffer under a preacher who don't know nothing, but that's not suffering enough. You may sit in a church where the air condition is broken, but that's not suffering enough. Because the suffering of the Bible speaks about Jesus Christ being brutally treated and rejected of men. A man, God, that no man could ever tell that he was a man. Friend, we can't do that. And all the fact is that Jesus Christ was willing and able. No man would say, I volunteer to suffer. That suffer is part of, part of salvation. And man, no man can suffer as Jesus Christ suffered. And the problem is, when we do get to glory, if I read my Bible correctly and studied it correctly, when I see Jesus in his hands, and in his feet, and in his side, are still the wounds of for God so loved the world. What can you produce, human, that will last for all eternity for your sins? Money will go away. Money is only temporal. Pain and suffering. And if you were to die without Jesus Christ, pain and suffering will go on forever. And you will burn in hell without Jesus Christ. But hell leaves no marks. Hell leaves no scars. You just burn and burn and burn. 
in torment, tormenting and tormented. And yet the means of suffering for salvation that drove Thomas to say, my Lord, my God, There is no other Lord or God that bears the mark of the love of God that He gave His only begotten Son except those suffering scars of Jesus Christ. And from the time that He prayed in the garden Being beaten from the time that the Pharisee guard got a hold of him. And before the Roman soldiers, and being nailed to that cross.
I would hate to get to heaven and find out that your water baptism was supposed to be salt and not fresh. I, God said prayers. And I, Jesus would say, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. I went to a church. Oh, you want a list? Baptist, Methodist, Catholic, Kingdom Hall. Um, which church? One church says we are the church, universal church. This church says we are from this. That church, what church? I've got the answer. One salvation, one Savior, one God, Jesus Christ. You see, Jesus Christ will separate the religion, the science, and the belief by saying, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Salvation has been wrought by God for God. I, I love you. I loved you. You are my creation. You are in condemnation. You have taken on the nature of your father, Adam. And you're not right and you're not holy. And if I don't do something, you will die in your sins and you will go to hell. Unless, this ain't hell, brother. You got air conditioning. Air conditioning is not in hell. And the love of God is that you are without hope. And God going through religion, education, and saw that man still came up short. For there is none righteous no not one so God loving his creation sent his only begotten son who said I am the way the truth and the life no man cometh unto the father but by me. The Bible says there's one mediator. Now let's get this one now. Listen. There's one mediator between God and man. The man Christ Jesus. And if you are worshiping a woman, that verse right there should tell you, I'm in deep poo-poo. Because God sent his son, that's a male. Attention Americans, there are males and females. God sent his son, that's a male. The man Christ Jesus, that's a male. You cannot get to heaven by female. In order to be saved, you got to have a male that would save you. Women can't do it. And that's chauvinistic and, and judicial and all that, but that's the Bible. America, you're wrong. America, you have rejected God in the Bible. There's one meteor between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. But, again, I go to church. Church never suffered. Suffer is required for salvation. All those lambs in the Old Testament had to die to be put on that altar. 
And the Bible says the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And no church has ever suffered for salvation. Now, the church has suffered because of salvation. But that can't save your soul. That's history. And Jesus said, marvel not if the world hated you. Know that it hated me first. Persecution of the church shows that the world does not want and love Jesus Christ back. And the fact is that Jesus Christ suffered that we may not suffer. Any man or woman that has entered into the gates of hell since the book of Acts have done it foolishly. Because they are burning and in torment and they need not. Because it has been all done upon Jesus. I will never suffer the torments of hell because Jesus Christ suffered and died for me. He took the wrath of God upon himself that I, through faith in Him, would not suffer the wrath of God. He that hath the Son hath everlasting life. He that hath not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon Him. And the wrath of God has already been upon Jesus. But you got another way that is not approved by God. You have believed on a lie that is not the truth of God. And you will not see the life. And when you refuse to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and His death, Jesus Christ will proclaim before you, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Well, you say, Preacher, what's a work of iniquity? Religion? Science? Education, atheism, ignore. That's a good one. Ignore him. He'll go away. That's a work of iniquity. Give him 15 more minutes and he'll be gone. You ignore God and he'll ignore you into the entrance into heaven. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There is no other belief to get to God. There is no other foundation but that which has been laid upon Jesus Christ. The stone that had been rejected is approved by God. And in our condition, our natural condition, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. 
Let me tell you what God did not say. God did not say, for I so loved you, go to the church of your choice. God never said that. Graham crackers may have said that, but God never said that. Put your head knowledge in evolution. And we'll get better and better and better. God never said that. God said the wages of sin is death. God never said, put yourself in water, spray yourself with water, sprinkle yourself with water. God never said that. Nowhere in the Bible do you get to heaven by water. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world and that was blood. Acts 20:28. 20, Go ye in all the world and preach the gospel. That's what the Bible says. Open and read the Bible. Search the scriptures, Jeremiah says. You'll find that all that God said will happen. Jeremiah. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. He gave His Son because you cannot do nothing. You know what the Bible says in Isaiah about your righteousness? It says a filthy rag. Go check that in the Greek and Hebrew. I'll be clean and will not tell you what that filthy rag means. God says, you want to work the salvation? That's a filthy rag. God says, you want to do it your own way? There is no righteousness in you to do it. There are no good works you can do. The three greatest men in the Bible that were able by works Job saw who became Paul and that rich young ruler with all the righteousness that those three men had they still came up short and they needed God and Paul said as far as all my good work of the Hebrew race, of Benjamin, the works of the works of the work, work, works. He says, I count them dung. Look that up in the dictionary. And with all that, Paul says, I count the blood of Jesus Christ able to save my soul. How's that? You see, Jesus Christ is God approved to get to heaven. And by the Lamb of God that take away the sin of the world, by the blood of God, Acts 20:28, 20, you can get your name set in the reservation list in heaven called the Lamb's Book of Life. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. That reservation list is not called the baptism book. That reservation list into heaven is not called the church membership roll. That membership into heaven is not called scientific formulas. 
It's called the Lamb's Book of Life. And that comes from the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. The only access you can get into heaven to God is by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. And any other access, Jesus Christ himself will say, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. And I hate to kick gods, but I love to do it. And you might approach to Jesus and say, Jesus, your mother. And Jesus would say, you know what? Search the scriptures. I never called her mother. I called her woman. Allah. Search the scriptures. Where do you see Allah in the King James Bible? The Lord's Prayer. Search the scriptures. There's two different Lord's Prayer. They're not the same. Search the scriptures. There is no Baptist church in the scriptures. Do a search. The, the, the little colon, Baptist church, and that little, not the colon, the, the quotes. In electronic Bible concordance, you will not find Baptist church in the scriptures. And no, we do not come from John the Baptist. You will not find evolution and the teachings thereof in the Bible. Those are all faulty systems and ways that will get you into the pit of hell for all eternity. For God so loved the world. There's the love message you want. The love message of God that you want is He sent His only begotten Son. The love message of that Son is I am the way, the truth, and the life. There is no man that is able to get to the Father but by me. Do not stand up to Jesus with baptism, with church, with religion, with science, with education. You will hear him say, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. And whosoever's name was not found written in the Lamb's book of life was cast off into the lake of fire forever. This is the second death. If you want the love of God today, if you want to go to heaven today, if you want your name on the reservation list in heaven, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved.